Calibrating the CLS Axis After watching the homing video and the how to calibrate each axis video for the blade wood processing system, determine if the CLS needs to be calibrated. The CLS is a crooked lumber sensor that recognizes if a board is crooked and the saw blade adjusts its elevation to compensate. It probably needs calibration if the center lines on webs are off, heel heights vary, or you're getting abnormal readings from the CLS status on the toolbar. The purpose of calibrating the CLS is to verify levelness and that the CLS sensor is centered with the saw blade. Note, there is a Calibrate button on the CLS tab under Detailed Diagnostics, but that only verifies that the CLS is functioning. For true calibration, follow this procedure. Gather the supplies listed here. The CLS is located directly below the saw blade when the saw blade is in the home position. If you haven't already inspected the CLS assembly, Lock out, tag out the saw and inspect the CLS to ensure it's tight on the bracket and that the bracket is not bent or damaged. Inspect the cable and connector for damage. If no issues are found, remove the lockout tag out devices and power up the saw and touchscreen. Before calibrating the CLS, test the elevation following feature, which indicates if the saw blade raises and lowers with the board bent. You must be logged in to the Blade software with the administrative password to complete this step. It will say Admin at the bottom of the screen. Place the saw in manual mode. Use the jog buttons in the status indicators bar to move the LOSM so it is just to the right of the CLS where the CLS will not see it. Next, verify the CLS is on. Go to the Tools ribbon, then select Options. There should be a check mark in the box next to Is Installed under Crooked Lumber Sensor. If not, click the checkbox so the check mark appears and click Accept. Go to the Diagnostics ribbon and press the Detailed Diagnostics icon. Select the CLS tab. Click Elevation Followings Enable button and verify the indicator shows it's enabled. Close that window, and the saw will now allow you to perform the test. While performing this test, the saw chamber door must be closed and power must be on, so ensure no other personnel can operate the saw. Keep your hands away from any component that can move, including the gripper and in-feed clamps. Insert a board into the saw chamber from the in-feed rail and hold it just above the area of the in-feed rail so the board is resting on top of the lozum. Move the board up and down and note that the saw blade moves the same direction and distance as the board is moving. If the blade elevation changes as the board height changes, elevation following is working. If elevation following is not working properly, lock out tag out and clean the sensor face and surrounding areas. It is important to use the methods shown here when cleaning the CLS surface. Then, repeat the test. If removing dust and obstructions doesn't fix the problem, the sensor must be replaced. There is no point in calibrating a faulty sensor. If elevation following is working properly, click Elevation Following's Disable button and proceed to calibrate the CLS for alignment and levelness. Obtain a plumb bob before starting. Place the saw in auto mode and start the saw blade motor. Always use the Cut Straight Board feature to prepare a board for CLS calibration. The feature is discussed in the How to Calibrate Each Axis video and can be found on the calibration screen. Use a 2x4 as instructed in the supplies list. Once you have created a straight board, clear the saw of lumber and place the straight board onto the end feed rail. Return to the calibration screen. With the saw still in manual mode, select Crooked Lumber Sensor and press Start. If a selection window appears, select the Calibrate Radial button and follow the prompts on screen.
When it's done, the board ejects automatically. During the CLS calibration, the gripper will bring the board into the saw and stop it as the board is above the CLS. The CLS takes a reading to the bottom of the board to determine the position of the board and then will zero out from that point. After the initial calibration, the saw will ask you to start the saw blade and it will again take another reading to make sure that it can get a steady reading while the blade is running. There's no actual movement during this calibration, but the screen will come up and prompt you when the calibration is complete.